아파 계속 레인 바꾸는 사람들 시간만 지나가 자신감 가지고 헤어지는 천천히 들어가야 해 어쩔 때에는 무작정 들이밀기만 하지만 Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. Oh god, <laughs> that's out of bed. It's 7 o'clock a.m. here at the moment, so I'm sorry if I sound a little bit rough. So, I just go with the voiceover because we're gonna talk today about the yearly goals. Last year, well, this year, 2022 was the first year I actually set any goals, like real ones. I wrote them down and uh, like took them to parts, uh, like broke them, broke them down to tasks to see um, if I would be able to achieve them. And I'm really happy to say that I did almost all of them that I set. I'm really happy about that. So I was thinking that today, as the year comes to an end, we could watch me sketch in a coffee shop while I talk about all those goals, the old ones and the new ones for the next year. I do have some categories, so I think we're gonna start with the art related stuff and then go if you have time for the more personal parts. So for the art, Last year, well, because I had this um, social media goal that was more... Well, thank you, Nori. Nori is walking behind me. <laughs> um, I had the uh, goal to draw at least twice a week because I needed the content for Instagram. So this year, instead of adding more days to draw, because I actually don't have the time even though I would want to. I have so many things going on. So I was thinking I'm gonna amp up the challenge. Because I have a tendency to do portraits. Mostly like just the shoulder up part. So I want to do a little bit more variety on the body shots and add backgrounds and do like more full illustrations so that's my goal for the art part i'm not gonna do something fancy that i need to learn a new medium or something like that i think that's already good enough because backgrounds are hard <laughs> those are really hard <laughs> so that's pretty much for the art part for me but well my art really is kind of big concept because I have all the social media so I kind of consider those kind of part of the art as well so the work slash social media parts oh I have the notes I need to check those <laughs> while I'm talking okay let's start with this one so YouTube uh, this year I started around, I think, April. I started making videos and I started the YouTube channel. It wasn't in my original goal board, but I did it to add it in the <laughs> which way. <laughs> and I'm so glad I did. It's been so much fun to make these videos. And this one, Originally, I had that I want to get monetized by the end of the year. Did not happen. And I only went halfway. I got the thousand followers. Thank you so much. Thank you. You guys are so lovely. I got the thousand, but I didn't get the... What's the... Uh, 4,000 hours, which is a huge amount of hours. I didn't get that so I uh, that's gonna be my goal for this year I want to get monetized so I need to get that 4,000 watch hours up and I hope to push that subscriber amount to 10k 
that would be awesome if that would happen. And if those happen, then there's like an extra one that I want to do brand deals if possible, like brand content. But we will see how that goes. Uh, for Instagram, uh, this year we had a goal to go over 25k and boy did we blew that up. <laughs> we are now sitting at 70k which is insane. That is insane. That is so many people. <laughs> and I'm so happy about that. I love our art community. So I'm, if you're part of that, thank you. Thank you so much. But for this year, this year for Instagram, I wanted to get it to 150k if possible, like double. So I, I think it's possible. I think I think I can do it. I, we can do it. Also, I want to upgrade my story game. I'm, I love sharing my day, but it's not always the prettiest. I'm really aesthetic person, so I want to like upgrade that part of it and I want to show more of my own personality because I'm kind of I've been really shy of showing my own face I'm gaining more confidence now that I'm on Twitch and on YouTube so I'm I'm starting to get used to being in front of the camera so I think I'm gonna do more that on our stories as well and the last on Instagram part uh, I want to do sponsored content if possible. That would be awesome. That would be so cool. Like have giveaways to give like graphic tablets to my followers or something like that. If I can find brand deals like that, that would be so cool. Next one, I have Twitch. I started this also in a whim. <laughs> and it's, well, because of the followers, you, you guys gave me the idea when we hit the 50k mark on Instagram and you requested for a live as a, as a celebration, I got hooked. It was so much fun talking to you guys and just draw and sketch and talk about art and life. So I did make the Twitch channel at the end of the year. I think it was at the end of August. I think it might be. No, no, no. October? Yeah, October. And it has been so much fun. So I'm gonna keep that up. I, I want to invest on that. So I want to get on Twitch to 1000 followers. We already hit the affiliate mark, which is insane. So I want to keep on going on that and I want to get to average of 25 people watching. That would be so cool. And I want to be able to stream three times a week. This is a hard one because I'm a full time artist and I have limited energy resources. <laughs> I get tired really easily. Um, my batteries go like whoop. But it also, when I stream, after the stream, I feel so, uh, like, energized. So it does give me energy as also, but having my weeks really full might be a challenge. So I think I might need to change this to two to three times a week, because now I'm doing, like, uh, every other week I have one stream, and the other I have two strings so I'm gonna it's already pushing it by having two full-time like every single week so maybe two to three times a week we will see that would be cool if I would be able to push it to three times a week then discord server we did that I didn't have a goal for this for this year because at the end of well end of the year it's been up now for like two three weeks i think and i love it it's so much fun when there are so many people who are like-minded and sharing art tips and and their their work and their sketches and resources and people being so positive 
uh, it just I was so worried that no one's gonna join when I made it but gosh you people you you're you're so amazing so I want to expand on that I was thinking that I'm gonna do this year that well th next year that 2023 I'm gonna do a patreon in the sense of patreon but I don't I'm not sure which platform I'm gonna use I, when I started the discord I was thinking that I'm gonna do the platform then there but I'm not sure yet if that's the case I need to still research a little bit of that but I do want to make one so and my goals is kind of related to that so it's kind of discord slash page patreon uh, goal so one make subscription slash member service for discord slash patreon get 30 subscriptions and figure out what rewards work i really want to give it a try but i need to figure out first what people would want is it a critique hour is it a digital goods is it well like physical goods i'm not sure if i'm gonna go for that but but yeah that's my plan that's what i need to figure out next one uh i need to make a website slash shop I uh, have an Etsy shop, but it's been closed for a year now, and I really need to do my own, I think, website. <laughs> I've been slacking on this for too many years, so I think now would be the good time to actually make the website and also the shop, and I think I could combine them into one. I think it would be nice. If I would be able to because I hate when there is too many different websites for all the different things so I kind of wish that I can have all of those in one same place so I have to do that and then of course if I'm gonna do the shop I need to have a shop launch and I'm really excited about that because well, I go to Artist Alley, so I have the products already. It's just the online part is missing. And uh, for the online part, I also want to do my own more... Uh, not more. I want to do my own brush pack. I do have one already, but I want to make a bigger one that is full custom one that has like all of my uh, like special brushes in it and so that uh, not, it's not gonna be pricey or anything the one that I have already in my shop is free to download so and that's gonna still be up there all the five brushes or six brushes I think it's in the pack there it's still gonna be up but I'm gonna add another one that is a lot bigger than that and all custom made by me so those are my work related stuff Whew. okay let's let's speed run the rest these are more of my personal things that I'm gonna do um, health wise I want to have every single day at least 15 minutes of self-care time I'm I noticed that I feel less stressed if I have this I started this this year already but it wasn't part of my goal list or anything but I really noticed the difference in my mood when I did this so I want to keep it a goal that I do this every single day I think it would be good for my mental health also Two, I need to take more days off in my week so I need to plan those better I usually burn out myself because I work too much so I need to practice on that workaholic not good thing <laughs> uh, take my vitamins daily and stretch every single day 
I get really stiff easily. I have overbending joints, so especially on the cold, I I'm, I turn into a stick. So I need to take better care of myself on that part. And and start working out twice a week. Yeah, I'm really bad at working out, so I need to fix that. <laughs> so I think a lot of people have this. So I'm not the only one, but still, I could be better at this. Uh, fun things I want to do this year. I want to plan and trip. Um, I want to plan a trip to Japan. Either actually go to Japan already this year or next year. I want to have a big third date party and have a camping hiking trip and make some ceramics. Those are like the fun things I want to do this year. For personal development, uh, I want to continue reading books and. I want to stop comparing myself to others. I I need to learn that. That's a hard one, hard lesson to learn, but I think I can do it. I hope I can do it. But I think that's about it. Those are my more arts related, work related goals for this year. <laughs> it's a big list, but I have a plan. So I think I can do it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Let me know in the comments your next year's goals. I would like to know. Like and subscribe if you like. And I see you in the next one.